Hello there guys, it is me, AJ, and for something different I'm going to be starting a uh, sort of a new series. This is sort of my build up to it. Uh, the series is hopefully going to be called uh, The Root of a Officer. And the idea is a friend of mine is going to start playing hopefully soon and I'm going to be alongside him as he advances through the ranks, hopefully assisting him on, on the way. If, however, I'm not able to, I will see about making him make his own videos. Uh, this is Star Trek Online, which is free to play. Uh, this is my guy, this is Ash Eyeshot. He's an engineer, a lieutenant commander, and a human. And uh, so we're going to go straight on in, uh, board my ship, the USS Storm Angel Mark III, because it's the third ship I've got. Um, we're going to beam in in the Eta Eridani sector block. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so as I'm going to go, I'm just going to sort of give you a rundown of, uh, this is sort of also my add-on review of, um, sort of, how I think the game runs. So, here is my ship, the USS Storm Engine Mark III. It's a Constitution refit. Uh, just sort of give you a rundown of how it is. I've got four and a half, f uh, bleh, phaser beams, a uh, photon torpedo, and a quantum torpedo forward. Uh, I have th four officers on my bridge, uh, two engineers, and these are the consoles that they will be using, a science and a tactical. Uh, this is my inventory, it's full of a lot of stuff I keep finding, as well as some schematics, because I want to start building stuff, uh, and bits I've found that I haven't sold yet. Okay. Uh, stations, I, uh, I will show you, walk you through. Uh, this will make no sense to you whatsoever at the minute, so I'll walk you through this. Here is my character. Uh, with his systems, his shield, body armor, his kit, uh, his two weapons, and some attachments. And these are all my stats. So this is me, Ash, Starfleet Engineer, Lieutenant Commander, rank 13, human male. Uh, this is my engineering officer. He's a lieutenant, because I'm British. He's a engineer up on my bridge, and he has two special abilities at the minute. Alright, uh, he's got these two which are very useful to me in space boarding party and emergency power to weapons uh, on the ground he can reroute his own power to shields or he can make a barrier okay so this is pretty good next is uh, Emily my human the only other human aboard my ship that appears on the bridge uh, she's a science officer a lieutenant trill female so she looks quite human but I say human uh, her useful ability is the sensor jam which is brilliant at making the enemies stop shooting me uh, Next, of course, is my lieutenant, Laura. She is a Dorian female, Starfleet Tactical. Uh, her ability is the Torpedo High Yield, which seems to double up the amount of torpedoes I shoot out of the fore and aft missile bays. And then last but not least is my second engineering officer, Richard. He is an Adoran male, lieutenant. Uh, his abilities are emergency power to the shields. He also has a bit to expand shields, but that's, he, unfortunately, to make more sense of this, I've only got one Lieutenant Engineering Station, so I've only got one where they can use it. But, if I wanted to, I'll do something else. Um, what I'm going to do now is, uh, just going to sort of give you my short review, so, before we go anywhere, uh, I'm going to transwarp, which is uh, a good system, so I'm going to transwarp back to Earth uh, Space Dock, show you the little animation, and off we go! So, Star Trek Online, it's free to play now, from Cryptic Studios. Uh, it's quite good um, so far. It's sort of, it's not too heavy on either. Uh, as you can see, every time you come to a new safe place, you warp in in the same place. So, yeah, you've got your little chat down here. Uh, you've got, I'll just sort of give you a layout of the console. Here is your ship systems. So here are my bridge officers with their abilities, so my high yield, Weapons, boarding party, shields, jam system. Here are some extra controls I can assign if I want to. Here are my weapons, so the four and aft weapons. So four four phaser banks, four and uh, there, torpedo. Uh, they're all green, which means that they auto fire. Uh, the controls are very simple AWSD for uh, anything. Uh, the shields uh, appear to also be controlled by my uh, keys. Uh, here we've got Earth Space Dock, nice large spaceship. Uh, here is where the rest of my ships are held, because I've got 
two others. I've got an original Mark I Constitution and a sort of a refitted uh, Miranda. So, yeah, I'm just going to ha hold position here. Uh, down here we've got the energy capabilities, so that, that decides where your energy goes. So, if I set it to attack, uh, my weapons gain more abilities, if I set it to shields, my shields will get more, and if I set it to speed, I will go as fast as a fucking speeding bullet. Not really, I just go a bit faster. Uh, and then of course there's this one which is balanced. Uh, as you can see, there are so many ships, uh, every ship you see tells you its name, and of course the person that does it, and if they're part of a split, uh, fleet, so like there's Task Force 69 over there, that's a fit to 92, uh, just pointing them out randomly. Uh, just a normal Starfleet cruiser and escort. There are so many ships here, but you have to be certain ranks to use them. So, just so I don't annoy anyone who doesn't want to be on YouTube, I'm just going to uh, face a Starfleet. Um, the map is brilliant. I mean, this is the area map at the minute. So, this is like Earth, Space Dock, you know, and this is the Galaxy map. Okay, so we've got the Alpha Quadrant, the Beta Quadrant, and the other bit. Thank you. I'm in the middle of recording. Hey. I'll just edit it out. Okay, fine. Let the dog out. I'm going to keep recording. I am not going to edit that out. Excuse me. Go on. There you go. Uh, for those of you who wonder, that was not uh, a house or a flatmate. That was my mother. I forgot to put the sign on the door that says recording. So yeah, carrying on. So we've got the alpha, the beta quadrant, and the, all the other bits. Okay, so we're only in the alpha and the beta quadrant. So everywhere is divided into blocks. So this is the Itavana Pavanus, Itor, Iota, Pavanus. It's, it takes a long time to flaming learn these ones. Alpha Centauri, Centauri. Uh, Sirius block, which is where we're sort of based here, right at the middle. Salt is just there. And then you immediately come out to these ones. And it's pretty easy to get to. From any of these, you can transwarp back to Sol. Um, then Beta Ursi, Deep Space Nine, and Bajor. Um, so sort of the storyline is that the, um, the Dominion has sort of come back. It's been a bit of a pain. The Klingons are deciding, oh, well, we're going to push out. The Romulans are sort of trying to push as well and um, we're just trying to keep it all in check really so this is the big map it's quite large I've been as far in the Klingon space as sort of around here around the Donatu sector uh, I've been to Deep Space Nine and I've been as far up as uh, Alpha Centauri so there's a lot to explore uh, while I'm here I'm just gonna go down and dock at the station uh, yes yes I'd like to dock uh, so I'll give you a little bit of a tour of things um, Feel free to add me as a friend if you play this game. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind. I would like the company. To be honest, the long flights through warp drive are absolutely driving me up the wall. I would like to be able to transwarp everywhere, but of course, we've got to have something to keep the patience. Um, the mechanics of it, because it's sort of a, an MMO with the mix of RPG, I will say that I do like the way the mechanics are fixed. So you can have the standard, um, you know, you control your character, but you've got your mouse controls. And a simple key changes it to sort of an FPS, which I think is, is pretty good when you're your character. So, here we go, the cinematic, my guy warping in. Let's have a look at the handsome devil. Oh, hang on, sorry. He's, uh, there we go. Uh, this is my guy. Uh, he's currently got a tack kit on, an engineering tack kit, which allows him to make a shield generator. So, as you see here, uh, this tells me that my control scheme has been changed to RPG, so I have my mouse control. Oh, someone's walked in next to me. Uh, I'd, I'd best get off. Uh, you can see my guy's kind of militarized when he's not doing anything. After a while, he'll just uh, he'll just stand at ease, you know. Okay, right, stand at ease. And as you can see, this is a hub. There are loads of... Oh, excuse me, I've got bad hiccups. There are people. You can see the amount of variations. I mean, Jesus Christ! That's a tall one. Uh, here comes a Vulcan. Excuse you. <laughs> oh, she's obviously lost. Right, uh, nice little jog around. The random people who are NPCs, they uh, they just talk about random stuff. Uh, a space dock. Oh, where's he off? And you can see you can choo pick and choose your um, things. So like, uh, only, like, I like my guy's look. I didn't want to change it. I wanted to keep it like this. Um, you go to certain sectors. So here's the shipyard. Um, 
through that door is the shipyard requestment office, so I can or, or the ship request office. So this guy, I can get him to repair my ships. So I'm going to talk to him. Uh, can I repair my ship, please, mate? Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, is there? Uh, nope, there's nothing wrong with it. I want to talk to this guy. He's uh, he, some of them have names, some of them don't. So like, this is Malcolm Sissel. What do I want to talk to him about? Uh, so I want to ask him a question. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Don't want anything else. So through here, ship requests. And the good thing is that you don't have to use the mouse. Um, the F key has been assigned. The the F key has been assigned as the action key. So sort of like if I if I really wanted, I can just say, all right, um, F, do that. So I can. So there you go. This is switched to um, shooter controls. So holster. My uh, that's my phaser weapon, and that is um, my sniper, my rifle. Uh, I kind of like it. Uh, so this is how my guy looks. I'm gonna just holster that now because I'm a I'm an Earth space dog. I don't want to be rude, but yeah. Press the B key and boom. Uh, the mouse now controls the exact camera angle, and I can look around. So this is quite good. So uh, change back. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Sort of show you. This is the selecting my ship option. So here we go. This is the Mark III that I've got. Um, this is the Mark II. Uh, it's a standard Constitution class. Um, You'll notice it, and this is my original one. Uh, this is the Mark One. It was a, see, it's a light cruiser, Miranda style, sort of thing. So yeah, but of course, at the minute, I'm using the Mark Three cruiser, NCC nine three three seven zero. Please, nobody try to nick my my ship's names, please, because I I like it. So yeah, here I can do uh, absolutely anything I want. I can go over to this guy and be like, uh, hey, guess what? I want to customize my ship. So now uh, there's my ship. Uh, it's a Constitution. Uh, maybe I want it to look like an Excalibur. Nah, maybe a Vespa. What about an Exeter? Now I'll stick with the Constitution. Standard, medium. So, and I could change my bridge or the layout. So it's like small, medium. No, I'll keep it to medium. All right, maybe I want sleek or utility. Future, classic. See, I can change. Or I have a warship. Or the, these ones cost because you see they have a price next to them. You have to sort of buy these sea currents. It depends how into the game you really are. I mean. Uh, I think I'd pr uh, I'll stick with the standard. Right. Windows Type One, or oh, there's Type there. You can sort of see the small ones. So I think I, I actually quite prefer the Type Four. And the material, Type One, Type Two, Type Three, Type Four. Uh, uh, hmm. Quite like this kind of the Type Three looks quite nice. Colors I could even change to a. Uh, uh, I could change one of these to a nice sort of a, uh, the greeny tint that I have for my guy. But I think what I'll do is I'll try to put that on instead. So uh, yeah, okay, save that please. Off it saved. Purchase. Yes. So now I've uh, customised my ship. So now I'll move on with the tour. Here's a security officer and a security officer. Right. So take the tour to the shipyard. Um. In terms of how good I think the game is, it's um, it's um, it's definitely good. It's worth playing. Um, while I do this, I'm just going to quickly realise oh, I've got uh, some assignments. So, uh, okay, Senate representative, plan assignment. Okay, this is um, if you play Eve, you know how you train your skills. Right. Well, that doesn't exist here, but uh, this is sort of the same. Um, plan start. Plan start. No, I don't need to do anything like that. This is sort of the same. Um, um, you send members of your crew. So um, you see, this is um, different things. So I have department heads, which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, so uh, I'm going to send him and uh, him. And I'll start this up, please. Uh, these are things like I haven't got enough, or what's that? I haven't got. I don't have a required duty officer. Why have I not got a required duty officer? Request duty officers. Department heads. So here, as you see, this is um. Yeah, it's, it takes a while to catch up. So the idea is, um, this is my entire crew, and these are my officers. So Laura, of course, is, she's my first officer. She was the first member of the crew I got. Uh, Richard is in charge of engineering, Andrew is in charge of operations, science and medical is Emily, practical and security goes to Laura. So if I choose a mission, so say I say I, I choose a mission and it's uh, a security mission, 
So it says here, yeah, there's a security mark. When I go to request to plan this assignment, I will immediately be told, oh, I will immediately be told a recommendation, which is quite good. Of course, I'm lagging slightly, so do forgive me. Shipboard, can't do anything. Five in progress. Right. So the idea is they will they will go and do that. So uh, right. So through here is um, the state room in the sick bay, and through there is the sort of the admiral. If I want to move, if I want to move the camera and make him move, I have to right click. So yeah, admiral on the shipyard. Now, if I want, I can do this, which sort of brings up my menu. So I might yeah, just do that one. Make that the primary mission, please. It's been the room. Okay. So. Hello. Sorry, back on the mission. I'm a member of Starfleet. I should not be getting distracted. So I'm just going to jog through here. So. Here you go. So, well, say sorry for that. Um, my folder where I record the uh, all these files to, it ran out of space. So uh, do forgive me. All right. Uh, you see, this is the variety of people we get around here. So many different people. Here comes someone now. Uh, no, it's turned around. So yeah, like, no, it's the twos. Right. So I'm going to beam up to my ship. And I'm going to start a mission. Beam me up, please. So look at that. It's, it's kind of weird. So I'm going to go off to a mission, hopefully getting some combat. So let's see. I need to go to the Drozana Station. The Drozana Station. So what I can do is a good thing is I can do this. More info. Where is the Drozana Station? It's in the Donatu Sector, so it's down here. There it is. It's on the map. Uh, stupid me. Right, warp sector. Okay. So, let's just go to warp, and as we go along, I'll explain a few more bits, uh, hopefully about the series. The series is going to be me going along with a mate, uh, every now and again playing, so area map. Let's go down there, because that's where I want to go, isn't it? Uh, galaxy map. Yeah, that'll take me down there, good, right. Uh, so, I'm just going to set the power, uh, maximum power to my um, weapons. So here on this side we've got info disable astrometrics. Disable astrometrics just gets rid of that. Info uh, just tells me press auto navigate to M. Every time I do something like that it stops, right? Uh, there's a daily mission here, defeat the Borg in the regular in the serious sector block, which is here. Uh, it's just there. Uh, oh, that's odd. That's why I had something there. Yeah, put that there. Okay, right. So uh, my ship on that flies, I think, but more than likely my very capable officers are looking after it. So as you can see, we, there are so many ships. I mean, there's a Galaxy Class H Miss Fearless. That's that must be a British ship. That must be a British player. Hello, British player. Uh, I'm not going to say anything on this while I'm talking. Um, so like this, the the variety of ships is amazing. I can trade with cargo ships if I wanted. I can summon a ship because I helped one earlier. Uh, so if I just bring the map up again, so I'm here currently in the, the Vulcan sector. So I'm going to go down the Orion sector, through the Risa sector, into the down into the Aldebaran sector. See, I'm now in the Orion sector, as it tells me, and then across into the Dura, Donna Two sector to the Drazana station. From there, I'll probably be given another objective. Um, here's my, yeah, you know, that's my rank. So sort of things like that. So. I get all this sort of stuff. This just tells me what happens as I promote. Uh, gain the ability to do this. Uh, when I hit 20, I'm a staffing commander and I'll get a new ship. And the permission to buy next rank of ships. And then I can also upgrade my uh, officers if I wanted to. And hopefully I'll get a slightly better ship with the better abilities. Um, uh, that's the Dilithium store. I don't need to show you that. Here's the mail system, uh, so if you know my name, you can sort of, you know, send me a message. I think if I press this, yeah, it tells you that's my name, Ash Frost. So if you if you do play this game and you want to sort of become a friend of mine, have an extra member of the fleet, by all means, I'm a friendly guy. I'm just gonna have a drink. I'm a friendly enough guy. I'm not going to tell you to get stuffed unless you're a complete idiot to me. Um, you can see these little markings. They're kind of uh, flight paths. Most people follow these like flight paths. I don't want to patrol the Tazzy system. I want to fly on. Um, this is the maximum speed at warp. So as you can see, this instead of just warp from point to point to point to point, you actually have to fly through warp space. Um, 
through sector spaces, it's actually kind of called. Uh, you can transwarp, but the only place you can transwarp is Sol, Earth. So there's no real point in that at the minute. So what I'm doing is I'm just sort of going through the map. Uh, I'm in the Risa sector. Uh, what will happen is I'll go here into the Aldebaran sector, and then I'll just head straight for the Drizana station. That's borderline Klingon space, so I'm not expecting any problems at all. But uh, that's a deep space encounter. I could do that if I wanted. I don't think I'm going to at the minute because that's uh, yeah, that's Klingons. Uh, I kind of want to avoid that. I don't want to go into a deep space encounter at the minute. Um, hopefully, I'll also end up doing a bit of an on-foot patrol where I'll go down with my officers, and you can sort of see the run-through of how that works. Um, I am. I do have the ability to do this. I can trans warp directly to the mission location, but I'm thinking, what's the point? Okay, so we're clear to warp to that next block, so I'm going to warp. doesn't bother with a weird silly little thing, it just goes boom, and there you are. Right, so, area map. Bring me the area map. The, uh, I think I want to go to the Drizana system. Yeah, so, set course for the Drizana system. Uh, yeah, and that'll bring me over there, so it'll take me over there. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Just trying to think, what can I? Actually, that's my inventory. Sorry, just sort of trying to see what I can show you about the things that are. Um, so here's like the friends. So if I go for friends, I've got these three friends. These are my three friends. At the minute. Uh, yeah, so that's my social side. I can do what I want about that. So I'm still getting kind of maximum speed. I've got like 105 over 100 power into my engine systems. Um, overall, I love this game. It's amazing. I really uh, enjoy playing it, actually. I've played it so much uh, since I bought it, since it's free to play. Made a couple of friends on it. And just uh, stuff like that. So I really need a drink. I'm thirsty as hell today. Ah, so much better. It's amazing. Um, Alright, so we're about to head to there's the Drizana system. So hopefully it won't take me too long to get there. I'm actually just going to cheekily yeah, pull up. So the, sh the ship controls are so fluid. It's just nice. Alright, so yeah, go to the Drizana system, please. So, it stops. But it will warp me in. So there we go, I've warped into the Drizana system. So now I'm just going to go here. What's this? Ops. Yeah, I don't want to tell him that I'm happy about that. I want to go to here. So this is a nice big ship. It's kind of it's kind of weird. It looks a bit like it's thrown together, sort of, doesn't it? But then again, you know, it's designed to look something. This is run by a Ferengi, isn't it? So right. Bizarre. I'm here. There we go. Right, dock at the station. So this is going to have me appear at the station. Um, because it's sort of a mission orientation, I think my entire crew will be with me. Oh, for God's sake. Here we go. Oh, no, it's just me. Huh? Oh, that wasn't good, because I encountered that earlier. That blue flutteringness, and I'm not sh And when I did, it was a bad idea. So, oh my God. Okay, so I'll, I want to speak to. I want to speak to Balan. So I'm going to talk to him. Alright, uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to question you. <laughs> I'm looking for someone. Oh, yes, is it. What I'm on is that I'm on a rescue mission, sort of. Okay, uh, yeah, maybe she should be new with Sam, maybe kind of hazy. Now, what should I do? Because I'm, I'm tempted to be the kind of this hard officer at the minute, like, I'm taking no ball, I'm here to do a mission, so... Let's go with, tell me where she is, I'll spot my... Continue. Okay, then, question instead. Uh, looking for someone... Oh, for God's sake, he's actually being a pain! This guy, I just... Ah, some sort of arrangement. Oh. 
great. He's going to make me do him a job. Right. Alright, I guess I have no choice in the matter. Alright, goes a cargo bay. Um. Oh, and it's got a lot of actual in-station, in-game abilities to remind you. So, um, like there's a Lieutenant Mirror Paris. Oh, God. There's a lot of people working down here. She's running around with a phaser out. That's not good. Right, um, I have to pause for a second because my dog is being a pain, so I will be back in a second. Okay, here we are. So, let's get on with the mission. Scan station replicas. Hail engineering team. Okay, so Andrew's going to give me a bit of a run through, so let's hear. These are probably going to have paying anything on stations. The age of systems and like a maintenance the design was built in mid 23rd century, and many of the systems station haven't made a major update in more than a century. So you're dealing with EPS systems, just can't understand them on the modern equipment like replicators. I didn't think in a database, found the log members of the core of the engineers for this station. It says that you need to regulate the power flow by routing it through various subsystems. Sometimes like using this system as, as ancient circuit breakers. What you should do is scanning some of the damage systems and pack ups in the cargo base. You learn more about the properly reading like relays. Alright, so. There we go. Alright, that's that done. Uh, let's go do this one now. Alright. Scan gravity drops. Looks like someone using that data pack up in the. Right. Uh, route power. Ah, okay. Uh, rail line station power flow. Oh, no, that's not it. Wrong one. So that's, uh, biomedical controls. Oh, God, I do not like this. This bluing thing. Ah, scan power connection network. Interact. Continue. Alright, that's done nothing. So what's this? Defense grid. No, I don't want the defense grid. I want power flow. What's this? Scan damage power coupons. What's this? Ah, scan burn out power clipping. So I'm trying to learn a lot. So engineering report. It's what we know so far. Right, and diagnostic results. Right, so what I want really is... That's replicators. Don't want that. Ah. Realign station power flow. Scan. Fourth. Okay, right. That's it, I need to scan all of these things first and to make the identification. Right, so, let's try environmental. So, I can actually just use the keyboard to do this. Right, here we go. So, this should be the last one. Scan, hello, super power relays. Good. Right, realign station flow, so. Okay, so, uh, engineering report. Start with the replicate the packing. Alright, so, here we go. Alright, let's check the report again. Connection must end with the system which you're attempting to restore power. Gravity could not. Oh dear. Replicators must have connection to the must have connection to the environment controls. Cannot to connect to the hull suites. Not every system may need to be used to make accessible words and use more than once. Okay, right. So the fourth connection has to be the defense grid. Six connections required. Alright, so try this. Okay, right, that's good. So let's check that report again, see what it says there. Uh, let's end with the system, so obviously I have to end it at the replicators. Um, gravity can connect to the... can connect to... okay. Do gravity, which was not that one. It's... No, that's not the whole suite. That's this one. Where you power? Yes! Alright, let's check that uh, engineering report once more. Um, gravity controls could take the money middle and the defense grid. Okay, so I need to go to the defense grid now. 
So this is sort of what the game is. It actually throws you this kind of things. Okay. Yes. Uh, so report. Um, uh, enter the system. Under control. Defense grid. Replications. Ha must have a connection. Under controls cannot connect to hollow suites. So I think next is the hollow suites. Oh dear God, that this is not doing me any good. Uh, hollow suites. Ah, oh, damn it! I thought I had it. Okay, so look at the diagnostic results. Hollow suites. No, oh, okay. No. Environmental. Then it was gravity. And then it was defense grid. Right, let's check the engineering report again. Alright, so fourth connection must be to the defense grid. So that's the fourth one obviously. Um can't connect gravity. I can't connect gravity to the replicators. We do have. Well, medical knowledge cannot connect to the hollow suites. Another system. So I, I think oh, that's the fourth one. Nah. Oh, this is a bit of a thought one there. What should I do next? I think if I put it back through environmental, try that. Yes. And then back to the replicators. Yes! Ta da! I uh, think they actually got it then. Alright, go to me, sweet. That was actually a bit of a challenge, that one. No, I don't want to try for Angus Stardust. Where's he gone? Right. Ah, ah there he is. Right. You. Wanna work with you? Right. Report. To let him know I've done. Replicators are working. Okay, that's good. Alright, so let's check the map. Alright, ah, so I need to go sort of through here and follow the corridor around. Okay, good, right, so I'm on the right track and no 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 I'm not on the right track, I'm on the completely wrong track. Damn it! I don't know which way I'm going. <laughs> right, I need to go through here to the tables. I'm looking out for a girl in purple. Right, so um hmm. hang on. No, not oh for God's sake. Ah, that might be it. Here's you oh, hello. Here's you which wants. Okay, so I have to play this game to so GPL conversion. Oh, store. Nah, no, not that. Uh, I think what I'm supposed to do is play this silly game or something. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Talk to bartender. Uh, store. Right. Well, I, mean, I want to sell some stuff. The stuff I don't want to. Right at the bottom. Because that's where I store all the stuff I don't want. Right, get rid of that. I don't want, to sell, don't want that. Uh, delivery battery. Don't need. Science kit. No. Engineering kit. No. No. Already done that. Don't need that. And that. Large power cell. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Done. Done. Cell. Good.
How the friggin' heck am I supposed to do it? How the friggin' heck am I supposed to do it? How do you play this thing? See if there's anything in the more, in more info. Alright, play Dabo. <laughs> That's all it says. I don't know how to play Dabo. I don't even know what it is. I think I need like Jeep Glow. Don't. I think I need like Latinum or something. Ask around, do. See if I can ask you play Dabo. How do you play Dabo? Anyone know? Does anyone There's a lot of people walking around with these rifles, aren't they? A bit on edge. Let's see if someone will give me the answer. Alright, oh, now of course there's an option here. Stupid me! Double tutorial. Major back, keep your eye on the wheel. You start with sending them out to bed and you could have got pleasant hands, so it's slowly running it back. So it's really such a time memory. Okay. Alright, play. Um alright, so No idea how this works. Okay then. I think it's good enough that I, I, I don't even know what I did, so that's it. Um, oh. Hang on a sec. No, I didn't know if I was going to do it. I was going to do something. Recommendations. Okay. Alright. Let's return to the ship. Obviously this woman didn't want to... Oh my god! I'm glad I got out of here before I had to talk to that thing. Alright, so obviously... There's now I've, I've just sort of realised what it is, so I need to go to uh, Deep Space Case Seven. So if I go to the back of the area map, warp out, and yeah, leave the system, I have to go to Deep Space Case Seven and speak to someone in this lab there. Because for some reason we found these weird ghostly creatures, and when those that blue light came on, that's why I was scared. It's because those things were freaking. One of them nearly wiped out my entire team. Thankfully for respawn. And we, we were able to wipe them out, so yeah, and go away. Alright, um, where is it? Uh, D Space K7 set course. Uh, maximum speed, right. Um, don't know what else to say, really. I know this isn't really that gripping. Um, obviously, there's not much to do, so. Um, which I wish it was better. So, I don't know, what I'm going to do is. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording. And um, when I get into a ship battle, I'll add that on the end, and I'll also add a foot battle on the end just to show how good it is. So uh, I will be back when I am involved in a ship and foot battle. So don't go away, guys. I will be back soon. All right, so I'm going to do a deep space encounter, guys, just to do some combat and let you see the ship combat. I might not get a foot combat one because it appears I'm just doing maintenance missions. So up to that, I'm just going to do this. So here we go. Ah, right, so this is a good one. So, balance out the weapons. Uh, all I have to do is uh, wipe out these ships, it appears. And there's not really that many of them to... Oh, oh, quick. Have we got a chance? Alright, oh, there's one over there. I'll go get them. Alright, so control 6 increases my speed. So I want to come around on this thing. I can't tell what it is at the minute. That's a Raptor Escort. Alright, so this is going to be a one-on-one -on -one ship ship battle. Alright, so here's how this works. Uh, no, just shoot it first to engage it. So activate high yield, so that means my torpedo is going to be double launched. Uh, activate the jamming target sensor, so that means it can't attack me now. And then deploy my three boarding parties. Oh, it's got one of them. 
Oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, whoa, did you see that? Four, uh, four torpedoes fired. Right, so you see, all I have to do is fly around and automatically. I can turn the automatic systems off if I want, but I don't really want to. Ah, just come on. I'm going to activate that. I'm going to activate my invasive maneuvers ability. Try and bring myself to bear my torpedoes on. So if I turn around, there's the back end. It's the rear torpedo launcher. Kaboom! That was a rather nice explosion. Oof! Cheeky person still had something on me. Okay, so I can slow down now, stand down. Make sure it's okay and uh, exit the sector. Yes. I want. Hang on. I haven't got a Ferengi here, but whatever. Oh. Well, yeah, that was just sort of a, a taster of the combat. Hopefully, there will be a, a whole lot more of that in the future. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I'm now going to fly. I'm going to end this on. No, I don't want to patrol the denier sector. And I'm now going to transwarp back to Sol. Transwarp activate. Maximum warp. Whoosh! Kind of like the transwarp looks a, a little bit like the Borg opening. So, whoosh! In the middle of the fleet. And this is where I'm going to end my video, guys. Um, proper end. I'm just going to move the hell out of the way of all these ships. Is it that thing? We're making a large thing of a space trap. So, yeah, you can see all these clumps of ships and stuff. Uh, wow, look at that thing, eh? Well, yeah, okay. So, yeah, this is the uh, end of my video, guys. Uh, again, add me as a friend if you play this game. If you want my, if you do want me to add you, put your name in a comment below, and I will uh, let you know. And uh, I am saying that this is uh, Captain Iso. This is Lieutenant Commander Ash Ishot signing out from the USS Storm Angel Mark III. Till next time, guys, with the first episode of The Path of an Officer. Goodbye.